everyone, it's Angie with Angie's Place, and today I have Unplugged! It's a book box. They have both adult and young adult books, and I absolutely love books. So I was interested, so as you can tell, I've been getting a little bit more books because I really do love the artwork in them, and I love to read them, and they're actually some of the stuff that I actually like to read. So, but I did get the adult one on this one. A lot of times I get either this um, sci-fi, um, fantasy, or um, young adult. But same thing, fantasy or whatever. New Worlds, dystopian kind of stuff. Yes, I like it all. And if it's got a ghost in it, even better. Because usually, it's just, I don't know, it's just a good book. So, anyway. The inside of the book, you get all the little stuff. Whoops, our little card fell out. The card is Adult Fiction Box, Fearless, July 2020, Unplugged Book Box. Look at that. So you see a, like a little shooting light coming up. Showing off the cab and everything. Anyway, it's supposed to be, I guess, showing off this. So sort of like a bat symbol. <laughs> okay. On the back of it, we do have a spoiler. It says, oh, spoilers. i seen spoilers. July 2021 Adult Fiction Spoilers and Photo Challenge. Okay. All the information you need for your adult July books box, your experience on Instagram, tag, on, okay, gives us the two tag numbers, all vendors and artists, for your chance to win a free pack. So not only do I have to do all of this, I have to, um... What do I have to do? <laughs> Tag also the artist. Not a problem. I have not a problem tagging artists. Um, because then they fill up my feed with different, you know, their artwork. I love it. Yes. So please, yeah, fill my box with artwork. It's good. I should say that's a feed. Instagram is a feed. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Let's get all this uh fun stuff off of here. And first we have, what is this? It's a cloth thing. Let's see what the cloth thing is. We don't need the bag, do we? No, no, no. And I believe it's, okay, it's a tea towel. So, Pride and Prejudice tea towel, yes. So, there we go, so you can see it. Isn't that pretty? I love that, it's really pretty. Very, very nice. However, I won't be using it as a tea towel. No. You know what? It would probably make a good a backrest, you know, for one of your regular chairs and just drape it over it. I like that idea. <laughs> it features, um, okay, so that's Mr. Dorisia and Elizabeth. And the box, and this was designed by at Abby Malagart. So that is hers, her little tea towel that she did for us. Very nice. And oh, we got some cards here. So this one is Ways to Embrace Courage. So it's got cute little things all around it to embrace it. And journal prompts. So if you do journals, you've got little prompts here to help you write in your journal. That's actually kind of cool. Is this fear probable or improbable? Hmm. Very good. Maybe you'll do a sci-fi one too. That would be cool. Give us prompts to write in uh, fiction stuff. That would be awesome. It really would. Okay, next we have is a bookmark. And talk about the books. Gargoyle Clean, Capture the Crown, Tail Down. Now this one you can color. Okay, you don't have to. But I think that's actually what it's meant for is coloring. You can do some nice coloring on there. Very nice. Personally, I like the ones like that but it's nice it's not bad you can color it yourself so it's not bad I might give it to my daughter, daughter uh, the, the, my daughter to color she likes to color well so i i do too yes i don't know anyway so but it is nice you need to mark your place anyway i usually use a posty note so that's an idea um for marking where I'm at on the page. So I use post notes and I'll put it exactly, I'll put it where, um, right below the paragraph that I'm on so that I know where I'm at. Okay, let's see here. This one is, it's really pretty. 
It's an alley. Would remind me of like Diagon Alley. You know, one of those dark little alleys with all the little shops. That would actually even go for St. Augustine, our little downtown area, if it was dark. And yeah, kind of cool looking. Anyway, it is, this one is for from Carol Goodman. The letter is on the back, so you get a letter and a pretty picture. And oh, a book plate, technically. It's just a signed little pe um thing that you can put in your book. I usually don't because I don't want to ruin the book. I'll just stick these right in there so I have her, her signature, which is really cool. Which um, The artwork, though, I'm going to do an art book because I love all the artwork that you get in these boxes. It's so pretty. And I will show you an example if I figure out which side is up. Is it that side? Oh, okay. It's that way. Sorry, it goes that way. I was thinking it goes that way, but it goes that way. I have a little thing so you can see. There's a ladder right there. All the books, obviously. And this is by Jennifer Stepp. So we will find out who, which book is which when we get there. Because you got two books in this one. Gothic, my favorite. I love Gothic. It brings me back to my teenage years. Because that's what I used to read as Gothic. Okay, let's see. We have, um, okay. This looks like tea. So this must be a tea holder. And that's really pretty. I've gotten these in boxes before. And they're nice. But actually, I like this. See that? It's a pretty butterfly. And it holds onto this. And this has, see, um, uh, the little clip right there. Isn't that cool? Just sits on your cup. That is nifty. Oh, silly. That's nice. And then you got the tea, which is fearless. Let me see if I can tell you what kind it is. It's from Sip, um, Simply Bookish Company. Let's see if it says on here. That might be easier. And this is... Uh, da, da, da. No, it's not that. Oh, we're getting a lemon squeezer in here, too. Tea towel honey dipper tea. Okay. All the boys aren't blue tea. And as George M. Johnson's book fearlessly features personal essays touching on gender identity, marginalization, brotherhood, and more. This tea was made by Simply, the Simply Bookish Company for this box. So that's who they made. So thank you for making this for us. Um, everybody's going to make me go blind with all the small, small words. But it's pretty. I like it. Very nice. I'm sensing a theme just because if you hadn't heard, listened to me, get all this stuff off of here. And this one is the tea squeezer because I was reading it off of here. So some of you might have gotten it if you listened to me. Oh, there's, you haven't watched my video. Okay. So the one lemon squeezer to rule them all. Mm. So we will have to see if it rules them all or not, if this is a very good one. Okay. The inside definitely but on the outside it's nice and you could you could squeeze a lemon if you wanted to so not my favorite thing but hey it'll help me squeeze a lemon right and I don't have to do bare hand anymore because somehow mine always end up missing I don't know what. but oh the one lemon squeezer tool I did read that didn't I I am going see now so the one the box or I want to see what's in the box. <laughs> I don't know about I want to see this. It's glue. So I want to see what's in the box. Okay. And it is Dickinson's Pure Honey since 1897. Look at that cute little jar. Look at that. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh, I bet you this is good honey too. Do I want to open it? Do I want to open it, everybody? Yes, I want to open it right. I know. Everybody wants me to open it. I can hear you. I'm gonna see. see? You can really smell, right? <laughs> I know you can't smell. But it is pretty. Hold on. Look at Mmm. Mmm. You can get more of this. This is good. Very good unplugged. Mmm. Very good. I like honey. So, I like honey and biscuits. Awesome. Honey and fry bread. Even more. Very good. Okay, next we have... 
Well, this doesn't go with it, but anyway, the rest of it's a little bit different. So everything resolves around T, if you hadn't noticed. And this one does not. It is, doesn't even look on it because it's kind of thick and pink. Daphne White Tea Roses is lovely and is surely all greatest force of all. Oh, love is surely the greatest force of all. Yes, it is. Because love and hate, it's a very fine line. Very, very fine line. But this is, it's a nice little, see? Really nice size. It is four ounces. So that's a really good size. Um, let's see how the boys turn to the stranger behind you. Oh, those are the two books. Okay, whoops. I can't take it out yet. Okay, Bridgerton Body Butter. That's one series I have to read because now they have a series out. So now I really have to read Bridgerton because it looks like it might be up my alley. Um, each character in the Bridgerton has to bravely find themselves and overcome certain challenges. The Body Butter came in four different varieties. So you could have got Simon, Eloise, Daphne, or Lady, Lady Whistleton. I got Daphne. Which one did you get? An exclusive by Patricorink Fetsy. Okay, so that's by them and it's very pretty. Yeah. Okay, you get me when you do the artwork. Absolutely love artwork. Let's see, let me go ahead and... Oh my god. Let's see, hit the dragon smell. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Just wait to come out. No, watch, it's gonna get me in the face. No, it's very thick. It's very thick. Oh my god, that's so nice. That smells so nice. Let me read that again. No, it's all over my face. <laughs> okay, I'm getting away from the book thing here. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Goes right in. It smells so oh my goodness. It smells so good. Okay. The last thing I believe before we get to the books is this, which is honey you dip it in the honey and it holds it all because of the little swirls and it's supposed to be really really pretty i've actually i've done this before i had one a long time ago and really nifty little things really cool looking if you've never done it before you have to try it if you got the book you can try it <laughs> and you just put it in the honey it's just your mouth okay so i'm weird but i know this it's okay i'm used to that Honey Dipper is, oh, here we go. Emily Dickinson Honey and Dipper. Okay, so these two go together, which obviously we already knew. Um, this is the Dipper. And Emily Dickinson was a groundskeeper, groundskeeping poet from her time. Her feature, her fearless attitude in expressing who she thought was through her words continues to inspire writers and readers to this day. This is an example exclusive honey dipper featuring a quote from Dickinson. Okay, let's see if I can read this. Alright. Yikes! Oh boy, more small print. Y'all are trying to get me. Alright. The pedigree of honey does not concern concern the bee. A clover any time to him is a aristocracy. A clover any time is to him aristocracy. Okay. I'm not sure what that meant. Please, please tell me down below. Because um, obviously you're book readers if you're watching this. Um, I do know a few of Emily Dickinson's work. And I do like it. I really do. Pride and Prejudice um, is actually one of my daughter's favorite movies. So, um, I don't think she's ever read the book. 
And she is a book reader. She's an avid book reader. We read her a lot of the same things. So that helps. Cut down on book costs, right? Okay. Let's see if we get... Oh, wait a minute. Before I get into these books. August theme. Oh, the August themes. No, we'll say... Okay. <clears throat> okay. I got the books out. And we have Captures of the Count by Jennifer Estep. Oh, it's Estep, not Step. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Jennifer. Um, okay, and this is action at its finest. Ooh, a gargoyle queen novel. Gemma Ripley is my favorite kind of heroine. Smart, courageous, fierce, spirited, flawed, full of heart. The gargoyle queen will capture yours. And that is by Amanda Bouchette, best-selling author of the King Maker Chronicle series. Ah! Best-selling author Jennifer Estrept returns to her crown of shards world with an all-new trilogy and a bold new heroine who protects her kingdom from magic, murder, and mayhem by moonlighting as a spy. Ooh, she's a spy. Cool. Gemma Ripley has a reputation for being pampered princess who is who is more interested in pretty gowns, sparkling jewelry, and other frivolous things than in learning how to rule the kingdom of Andavari. But her carefully crafted persona, just an act to hide the fact that she is a powerful mind manger and a spy. Gemma is undercover, trying to figure out who is stealing large amounts of tear stone, tear stone from one of the Ripley Royal Mines when she encounters Prince Leonidas, Moriko of Morta, her immortal enemy. Gemma tries to steer clear of the handsome prince, but when she finds herself behind enemy lines, she reluctantly joins forces with Leonidas. Also coming to Gemma is grimly her beloved gargoyle. Despite the fact that Andavari and Morta are old, bitter enemies, a dangerous attraction sparks between Jenna and Leonidas. Further complicating matters is Leonidas' murderous family, especially Queen Maven Morricone, the mastermind behind the infamous Seven Spire Massacre. The closer Gemma gets to the stolen Tearsum, the more deadly plots she uncovers. Everyone is trying to capture the crown, but only one queen can sit on the throne. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, doesn't that sound good? Yes, it does, my bookies. My lovely bookies. <laughs> okay, this one is The Stranger Behind You by Carol Goodman. Mm, nice. I would love to do this stuff. That would be really, I would just love to make these covers. Oh, I might just make a few. After, I, you know, reading it um, from a few books that I like, I might actually just make a few just for fun to show what I can do. That would be good because I love doing stuff like this. Art like this is just up my alley. Um, I can draw a little bit, but more up my alley is actually design. So I'm very good at design, or at least I was. We shall see. If I do it again, we shall see. I don't know. You're never really alone. A captivating exploration of sexual harassment, friendship, and ambition, and how women join together to overcome trauma. It is a classic as is timely, as heartbreaking, and as suspenseful, and as stunning by Daniel Trussoni, the New York Times bestselling author. Now that's what she wrote. So, the book is about journalist Joan Laurie has written a seething article exposing a notorious newspaper tycoon as a sexual predator. But the night it goes live, she is brutally attacked, traumatized, and suffering the effects of a concussion. She moves into a highly secure, secure apartment building in Manhattan called The Refuge, which was one time a Magdalene laundry. Joan should be safe here, and so how can she explain the cryptic incidents that are occurring? 
Lillian Day is Joan's new 96-year-old neighbor at the, re at the refuge. In 1941, Lillian witnessed a mysterious murder that sent her into hiding at the Magdalene Laundry. And she hasn't come out since. As she relates her horroring story to Joan, Joan sees striking similarities to her own past. Melissa Osgood, newly withered and revenged, revengeful, has burned burning questions about her husband's recent death. When she discovers a suspicious paper trail that he left behind, she realizes how little she knew about her marriage. But it seems that Joan Laurie might be the one who has the answers. As these three lives intersect, each woman must play stay one step ahead of those who are desperate to make sure the truth is never uncovered. Hmm. I don't know which one to read first. They're both good. Wow. Nice. I don't know. What do you think? I think they're nice. Nice little plots. Little whodunit. So you get to guess as you're going through and change your guesses and go, oh! Okay, usually by the end you know who it is. But, you know, that's not the point of it, is it? It's This is the thing I was looking for, right? Um, adult box fearless. Oh, nope, that's the little thing. On it. What do we do with it? Okay, guys, I lost my August thing. Up oh, here it is. <laughs> I was gonna say no, I lost the August. August themes, which you already know, if you've looked on Instagram, you already know what they are. So, Unplugged is very good about putting things on Instagram and letting you know what is going on, what they have for sale, that kind of thing. They're really good at it. So check them out. Check out their Instagram page. You'll see what they're all about. Um, obviously, they have this photo contest stuff, which I need to get started on right away so I can get a free box. Hopefully. We'll see. Anyway, so that's the whole unboxing. Um, oh, the adult fiction is Come As You Are for August. And Something Wicked Comes This Way is for the young adult. And those are both August. So, if we looked at them, um, hmm, if I actually had to choose, I'd probably pick the young adult one. But that's because I like mystery and all that kind of, um, not mystery, yeah, mystery, thrillers, historical, you know, that kind of thing. Give me a plot. Give me something to think about. Although I do like funny romances, too. This come in handy. Anyway, but that is like a sneak peek's Oh. Young adult boxes will feature a usable item inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's. Ooh, tells. Ooh. Is it going to be a raven? Hmm. And then the friends one is a two part item that is by Friends. Not by Friends, but um, inspired by Friends. So. Take your pick on which one you like more. I think I'm leaning towards the young adult one. But I did skip this one. And um, I will be getting the September box. So I will see you again on one of my other videos quite soon. However, for the unplugged box, you'll see me again in September with this one. Although I do like how they put everything together. I mean, everything was really really well thought out around tea so i kind of i really like that aspect of it the books were really good and if i had to say that my favorite besides the artwork i do love these letters these these letters are just really beautiful and obviously i can't say the lemon squeezer is my favorite because i actually have one <laughs> so but it is nice I'm not saying it's not nice. I just, it, it does go around the theme. And I like that part that it's all around the theme. The honey is awesome. Um, we'll see about the tea. <laughs> but I love the little tea thing right there. That is just, I don't know where you found that. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to check her side out. So I really, really do like that. That's what I like about some of these boxes. You learn about different artists and the different objects that they have so you you find like maybe new favorites that maybe you already had a favorite now you find a new one because they just presented it to you that's another thing i like about these boxes that you can you can try out new things through them um and the book boxes they have a lot like i said they do have a lot of art if you're not into this kind of thing um 
and all she wanted books they i believe they do have just the books i'll have that list down below if you can or not but i believe they do have a thing where you can just get the books and and that's it um but personally for a few extra dials you might as well get everything that's my thoughts on the whole thing anyway because you can you can get everything just for an extra few dollars let me get this trash out of my poor puppy's way <laughs> excuse me she's like move it okay so so yes so honestly it's only a few extra dollars for all the extra stuff and you get to try new things like i said and all that kind of jazz i thought it was a really really nice book box because like i said it was well 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 thought out oh i also forgot about the tea towel see tea another tea item so yeah i actually like i love the books just saying i love the books and am i sorry about not having book sleeves maybe a little but you know what it's not it's it's all about what the author writes in the book too so do i love the artwork on the on book sleeves yes i do but i really do like the, what is in the book and my favorite thing to get is totes so when these bags it, they do i'm sure they do they're like every other book one I, I, they do it occasionally i put it in totes and i love them absolutely love totes i don't know why <laughs> i just do you can carry anything in them just throw things in them and go on a road trip it works right okay i'm done chatting away um anyway thanks for being here and for watching this with me and i will see you later have a good day god bless